Hey everyone, welcome to this new wheel series for the Python Object Oriented Programming or OOP. Within this series, we will take this OOP and we are decomposing every element in a very practical examples to understand it better. So by the end of this series, you will have a practical experience how the objects are working in Python. And after that, we will start a small project. We are going to use a Python core server library and by explaining how the objects are working, we are going to create a server and also communicate with the browser and see how using object we can get comfortable to have a very good program to uh, working with Python. Today, we are starting the first episode on introducing the Python Object Oriented Programming or OOP. We are going to focus on classes, instances and attribute and understand each one of them. So first of all, let's start with the class, which is the most fundamental part of the object oriented programming, because that will be the design of the shape of the object that we are going to use. So the class is not a memory place, but a way to show how the object will behave. Today, we are going to see the simplest shape of the class, and we are going to build on it in the future episodes. So first of all, to declare a class is as simple as writing a class and then give a name to the class. So we are going to call it a book and we are just going to pass. We are not going to add no other element to the class for this moment. And after that, so this part, the class here, is not a memory location, is a shape of how the object will be um, treated. But today is a pass, so we are going to create a kind of empty object initially, but just to understand how these objects are behaving. So let's start creating an object or what, or what is called an instance. We can change those words, are almost same. So let's create the first object. We call it book one, for example. And that will be equal a book here with a parenthesis. So this object has been created. Now we do have this instance of the class or an object that will have the shape of this class but now this is an empty class so we do not have really a lot to see inside it so let's create another object just to see what's going what's going to happen if we have another object created from this class so by doing so and printing both of them we will understand what's going on with them so book one and then let's also create the book two to see how this is going to happen so let's save here and go to the console and print it to see what's going on. So this is what is printed. We do have book object. So this is an instance or an object of the class book at this memory location, which is my favorite location, by the way. And the second one is also a book object at the different at a different memory location. And you can see this is our two different locations. So these two objects are two separate objects and they are not connected in any ways. Even they are created from the same class, they are fully different memory location in the computer. Okay, so now we have seen that we created two objects, but up to now, those objects are useful or these instances are useful as they can bundle a lot of data. So we can put a lot of data connected directly with this, those objects. So let's take, for example, the book one or the book, book one and we add by adding what we call the attribute. So if I add here, so we have a list here, but we will check it later on. Let's add title, a book one dot title. And we put here introduction to the wheel. Hopefully one day we'll have this book, okay? And we do have here the object have now an attribute, a title, or a certain memory connected to it. And I can add another attribute. I can add the, as much as I want attributes. So I go to book one again, and I put authors. And as usually we can have many authors for one book. So let's create a list and we can put whatever type of data within the attribute that we create. So we can put view, and let's create another, a bunch of other people, like, like this, okay? So now let's save and print those memories and to see what happens. So if I put 
book one and I add here the title and after that I would print the book one also and but here authors just to see what what will happen so let's save here and go to the console again and you can see that now I can access to this data from this object and this is where is all the power of the object all the attributes or the data you wanted to put together are connected to this object so you can bend your data in one object but just at the same time if I do and print the book 2 for example and I check for a title and save and try to run what will happen I will get an error because they say book object has no attribute title as far as the title is not declared we are not able to use it at this time so we will see later on how we the inside the class this will if affect the the object or the instance itself so what we need to do is to copy again those two one here and to put book two and book two and let's use another word another like our um, book title let's say the seven habits for example like this and also let's put the the author for this one there's only one author I think it's Stephen Covey if I'm wrong please put it in the comment so it's a Stephen yeah Stephen Covey like this so now if I do copy print again and save here book two authors and I run my program so I do have here so seven introduction to the wheel and then we have the authors of the book one and after that we do have the book two data so this is how we we start with the objects first of all we need to create the class and after that we are going to take or initiate instances connect to this class and finally we will start putting data within those um, attribute within these instances of the class by using those attributes so that was the first introduction I hope it was not very complicated and in the next step we will see more how we can update or add more things to this class um, part so we can enrich our objects